Hi guys, it's me, Bad Kim Smith here, and today I have a video on, well, not really on, but yeah, on, um, this video is going to be about Bissell Power Force versus Bissell Power Liquor Bag Pit. So, let's just jump right in. Number one, we'll start off with the useless minimalistics. So, on the Bissell Power Force, you can see that the, um, protrudes out a little bit. That's normal. But this one, it also protrudes out. But it protrudes out less. It's kind of odd. And also another thing is, is that the materials are backwards. What I mean backwards is that this is smooth and this is gritty. On the power lifter, this is gritty and that's smooth. It's very odd that it's flip-flopped. Um, another thing is, is that the power force has this, um... Almost like a cup, and then you got this chunk right here, which just, does, which just doesn't exist on the power lifter. It just, it's just, it's not there. Um, another thing is, is um, here on the back door. This one actually has this crease here, and this crease here, and then this crease here, and this one here, and then this portion, which is also on the power lifter. It's just a smooth part of the plastic. The power lifter doesn't have any of that. Also, this is like a gritty plastic. This one is just smooth and um, sparkly plastic. And then it's got these very nice looking plastic things there. But there are actually part of this. It's, they're clipped on on the back. More sparkles. This is just a, a blue, a matte blue. I guess that's what the color is. Um... Another thing is, is actually inside the bag door. It's very strange. Both of them have brand new vacuum bags, and both of them stay used style 7. Both of them have these instructions. Um, but what's odd is that the Bissell Power Force has these support things. Now, it makes sense so it doesn't suck in. But also, also, this... There's a lot more of these than there is on the power lifter. Power lifter is missing these. See, there's none. I don't know why they're not there. It doesn't appear to need them. It never seems to suck this in very much. Um, and instead of having four, which actually is one, two, three, four, five holes, this one just has three holes. I don't know why that is either. This one also has the um, same use style 7 bags only and then the instructions and the pre-motor filter and all those other things. So that's the inside, so let's get to something else. Another bizarre thing that I noticed right off the bat is this says Bissell. It says it says Bissell. And but this one doesn't say Bissell right there because the turbo brush is in the way and that's also another thing this thing has a turbo brush. This one does not have a turbo brush. The turbo brush holster. And it also has another attachment, which is long gone. It's like a lint roller inside of a clear plastic attach. Plastic. Cl There's no such thing as plastic. Plastic attachment. And. And it's just a lint roller that moves back and forth. And you kind of slide it around. It's supposed to lint up pet hair or whatever. I never used it. And actually, I broke it. And now I lost it. Um, this, it also, this one has this nice clear piece, which has gotten nasty over the years. I say years. I've had this vacuum for two years. I don't know. They both take the same belts. This has a triple action brush. And that brings me to the next thing. 